So briefly, we have to talk about what's called beta decarboxylation. And uh, this is actually something that actually takes place in some of your uh, mechanisms in biochemistry inside your body and stuff. Uh, basically, when a carboxyl group is given off as CO2, provided it is beta to a carbonyl in that molecule. So if we look at this molecule, for example, here. So for this carboxylic acid, there is its alpha carbon, there's its beta carbon, and that beta carbon is not of a carbonyl. So it turns out that this carboxylic acid is fairly stable. Um, and it's not going to decarboxylate in a beta decarboxylation reaction. So, but on the other end of the molecule, I put another carboxylic acid, and there's his alpha carbon, and there's his beta carbon. But the big difference is, for his beta carbon, it is a carbonyl. And so it turns out this carboxylic acid group right here is not going to be stable. And upon heating, it will actually be lost completely as CO2. And the rest of the molecule will just re remain a ketone at that alpha carbon. So essentially, this entire group's loss of CO2, and ultimately that that H will end up on the alpha carbon. That's why it now has three H's on that alpha carbon. So if we look at why this is, let's redraw this molecule for a second. And I'm going to rotate around this bond right here. We can see when we got a carbonyl at the beta position here that it is in the perfect position to deprotonate the hydrogen of the carboxylic acid, and that's what's kind of governing uh, whether this reaction happens or not. So we'll deprotonate that guy. That'll allow these electrons freed up to form another double bond right here, and these will come around right here. And if you look at what we've got here in the process, So here's what we got here, and if you notice right here, this is an enol, and that will tautomerize back to being a ketone, which is why you end up with that final product. So this is beta decarboxylation, and the big reason we're bringing this up is that it is a key part of the next two syntheses.